Hello and welcome to MBS Show, episode number 370. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And, well, I hope you enjoyed last week's episode with all its derpness and whatnot. Uh, for the iTunes and Stitch Radio person who are listening to this, uh, last week I had a derp and it was kind of funny. Some people think so. It's all over the YouTubes. So, go check out if you want. Like, you go check out near the end where I was talking about stuff about Daniel Anthony's convention SiponyCon yeah go check it out around that part it's funny I I think (laughs) I think but anywho let's get right into it Um, first news is well first news is Big Jim shows off a yearbook of all the Friendship is Magic season 9 stuff and this is something really interesting that I Guy, that I think you guys should really check it out because uh, long story short uh, Big Jim on Instagram shared a few pages of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 9 crew and um, it's on Instagram you can check it out in the link below and it looks really cool um, I, I <laughs> words do no justice so go check out the links and whatnot but uh, it's in the t- theme of a yearbook but every cast and crew are drawn in pony style and it's so cool it's very cool <coughs> and I, I can't say much more I'm guessing everybody who was involved in season 9 gets a copy of it so that would be really cool to check out and continuing on with Big Jim he recently posted a send off on Twitter so for you guys who got no idea who Big Jim is, uh, Big Jim is the supervising director for the show most of the time. I, I think he started out as a storyboard artist. But anyhow, um, he did this long tweet about how grateful he is and what. And I, I'll read some excerpt of this. And yeah, I'm not going to read the whole thing because I think there's what, six pages of it. So I'm just going to read highlights that I think that are very interesting <coughs> sorry so anyway um, it's incredible it's incredible to think about I came on this show as a, a board artist back when the original artists move on which is somewhat common in the animation industry to do episode one two three by the way uh, when he said one two three it means season one of 23. So, the Kinemark Chronicles. Anyway, everyone who had come to MLP had varying degrees of trepidation about working on this project, and I was no different. Remember, this is the summer of 2010, a good five months or so from the series premiere, probably a year from the starting to make big internet buzz and amass you guys as its fan base. And he goes on to say, like, um, working on this project has kind of, well, improved his life and whatnot. I mean, it is a really awesome show. People don't give it too much credit or people don't really think about it that much. But because of the show, a lot of lives change. A lot of people, uh, how do I put this? It touched a lot of people's life, mine included, and yours too, I hope. And... As I go down near the end, <coughs> it's been an absolute pleasure, honor, and privilege. I keep using the same words, but nothing else seems to say it's be- say it better. To have been one of the many stewards and caretakers of this show, I don't suppose something like this will come along in my career again, and I will always look back on it fondly. For the last time, Big Jim, Supervising Series Director, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, TLDR. Thank you to the cast and crew. Thank you to the fans. I love you all. Big Jim. And well, Big Jim, if you are somehow listening to this, I doubt it. But if you are, thank you for creating an awesome... Well, thank you for being part of an awesome and amazing show. I am a lost for words. Because this show is different. 
and it's special. It's I'm at loss for words. Like it's how to put this. Because of this show, I met a lot of amazing people, made a lot of friends, uh, travel to places that I won't normally travel, and yeah, it's. I have to say, it's changed my life. And for that, I thank you guys who made the show because it is an amazing feeling. Yes, but anywho, <coughs> if you guys want to read more, I- I'm guessing there's more in it. Maybe to do with the movies or whatever it is. You, you should guys go check it out because it is a lot of fun. And knowing what he went through and stuff. It's it's just a lot. It's just a lot. So anyway, let's head on to the next news. And next news is My Little Pony San Diego Comic Con 2009 2019 exclusive toy revealed. Hmm. Yes. So, any collectors out there who buy the San Diego Comic Con exclusive? I wanted to buy the first San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It was a derpy. It was expensive. And I got no idea. Yes. Expensive. But anywho, this one's not bad. This one shows the past and the future. Uh, <coughs> it shows Twilight and Twilight Sparkle. Yep. But anywho, um, this is a really interesting toy because it shows the first generation in its first generation mold. Um, what, this was 19, 1980s? If I'm not mistaken, the show came out on 1983 if I'm not mistaken but anywho um, this is one of the original G3 models I think or is it G1 I, I can't remember but anywho uh, they created exclusive of Twilight from the Gen 1s and also they made a Gen 4 Twilight Sparkle so you can see the evolution of characters and yeah, I think the only reason why they couldn't use Twilight was because of that other Twilight show you know the one with the sparkling things and funny enough they use sparkle for this one. Oh, you but anywho uh, this is a lot of fun and I personally don't think I will get it um, for now it's a two-pack comes yeah it comes in a two-pack and it'll cost you about $20. Uh, available starting 18th of July uh, at the regular booth and so on. Uh, oh wow, there's new info. Each figure is 3 inches tall. So that's really good, that's really good. And if I'm not mistaken, as per usual, they will put it up on their Hasbro Toy Store online. And that is going to be one mess because from what I've heard, the Hasbro Toy Store online is not a great website. Not a great website. And lastly, we've got, well, let's go from ponies to equestrian girls. So this is uh, something to do with the special. And I think the special is called Sunset's Backstage Pass Synopsis and Air Date Reveal. Um, I won't read the... Uh, I'll read some of the synopsis and give you my views and what I think about it. But um, we expect we can expect to see the series on July 27th. Um, the synopsis is... Uh, the Star Swirl Music Festival is finally here and the main seven are going to get their glamping on somehow camping and glam makes glamping and it's a thing why would you you know what it's better if I have silver and the rest on because I'm just talking to the air right now but anyway uh, glamping on yay Sunset Pinky are the most excited to see their favorite bands perform but when Equestrian Magic caused a groundhog day uh, in per is inspired oh groundhog day inspired loop to start sunset gets stuck reliving 
festival day one forever oh no and hmm this makes me wonder about the special that we had or not really special but ooh there's there's this um, choose your own adventure story where sunset was a, how to put it um she didn't really want to wake up from bed and there's three alternate endings for the special or the choose your own adventure it was twilight sorry uh, yeah twilight no 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 twilight sorry it was rainbow dash applejack and pinkie pie and if this is what they say it is a groundhog day scenario all of those three endings are canon somehow and Groundhog Day Festival 1 I wonder if they're going to do something similar to what they did in Groundhog Day uh, Groundhog Day is a is an American movie starring Bill Murray and he is a news reporter anchor or news anchor and he was sent to this one town to cover Groundhog Day or I, I think whatever it is so anywho uh he did his job, he was mean to people, and he got caught in a loop where he has to relive the uh, same day again and again. So he tried everything. He, he tried being nice, tried being mean, and at a point, he gave up and do silly things like just not even bother to go to work, learn how to play the piano, and so on. And I think in all that, he discovered himself and being nice. And fun fact, there was also a fanfic about this. I think this was year one of the fandom that this came out. Uh, it starred Prince Blue Blood, and the event was um, Princess Celestia's. Uh, what was the ball called? Um, the Grand Galloping Gala, yes. And same thing happened. Um, he did whatever he did in the show, being mean and so on. And he had to relive the day again. And yeah, I I haven't read it, but if it's anything similar to Groundhog Day, I think it's a fun adventure and a fun read. But in all honesty, I got no idea if it ended or not because I knew about the story from another fan fiction called the Sweetie Belle Chronicles where Sweetie Belle accidentally traveled to multiple fanfic dimension. It was a really cool read at first where Sweetie Belle ended up in a world where Nightmare Moon uh, ruled over everyone and she was nice or and another world where the main six were guys you got what um twilight sparkle was something dusk dust shine something then rainbow dash is rainbow blitz and so on you get the general idea so it, it's going so on and so on, so on and that was what i think earlier on in the fandom and it's still running it's still running so there is a lot of stories to go and i think the groundhog day story was not bad not bad so I think, well, th that's it for this week's um, news. And <coughs> this week I haven't done nothing much. So to say what I have been for this week is kind of mm, nothing. But anyway, I just want to say something to you guys who are watching or listening to this now. And how do I put this? I I think I'll just talk about myself first. At points, at sometimes, <laughs> sometimes um, I feel rather lonely and rather, well, I won't say depressed, but I think the word is kind of depressed sometimes because I don't feel like I'm doing anything much. I don't feel that I'm contributing something. I I, I just sometimes I don't feel awesome or I feel lonely because 
there's nobody special in my life and so on but doing this knowing that you are they are listening to me even though I f- float my lines and derp and whatnot, knowing that you're out there makes it makes me feel like I'm doing something and if you guys out there are feeling down or if you feel like you need someone to talk to anything my line's open my line's open uh, you can always catch me on the YouTube comments below or you can talk to me privately via email which is at the MBS show at gmail.com and I'm always there to lend an ear for you guys if you want to you know have someone to talk to I would say if uh, sorry, I would say I can create a Discord channel, but I got no idea how to maintain that. It's not something that I'm good at. Uh, maintaining a channel is not for me. But anywho, if you feel like talking and feel like, you know, just want to say hello, I'm always there. Emails at norm, the mbsho at gmail.com. So, yeah. But anywho... <coughs> um, I forgot to do something here But anywho, yes uh, If you would like to Well, sorry If you have any questions, concerns Or suggestions for the show You can always contact us at animationgmail.com And remember, there is also the same address For you to say, you know, hello and stuff And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube Don't forget to press the bell icon To, to stay up to date And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com, And links are in the show notes. Yes, every one of them. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Separate Heart Song, and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes. Uh, what else do we do? Yes, Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to do other things. America's Ladybug is one of them. I just love to see the reaction of the guys when we review that movie or show. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it's special. It's very special. And, well, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.